Congo is calling. Good time. The new year's here, and you know what that means. What, another failed diet? <laughs> no, I'm talking about Jerome's half yearly clearance. Going on now. Save up to 40% on one of a kind. Discontinued and overstocked living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, and mattresses. Like our Harris double reclining sofa for only $577. In stock while supplies last. Plus, even more in stock items that you can pick up and take home with you today. Go to Jerome's for great bargains at Jerome's half yearly clearance. Going on now. NBC4 News at 11 a.m. starts with breaking news. The LAPD is mourning the loss of one of their own, an off-duty officer shot during an apparent robbery attempt. Right now, the search is on for his killers. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. Michael is off today. We have just learned the name of that officer. NBC4's Ted Chen joins us live from where that shooting happened. Ted. Carolyn, L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti says this young officer was in this neighborhood looking for a home with his girlfriend. And now sheriff's investigators are looking through the neighborhood, scouring it, looking for his killers. There was a procession to honor this officer that we want to show you. The procession began last night uh, at St. Francis Hospital in Linwood to the L.A. County Coroner's Office near downtown Los Angeles. Fire engines, firefighters, police officers, first responders all paying tribute along the way. The Sheriff's Department says deputies responded about 9.15 p.m. last night to this neighborhood here at Florence Firestone to Beach Street near Firestone Boulevard. They say a black pickup truck approached this off-duty officer. Three suspects got out. There was an argument and then apparently an exchange of gunfire. Deputies took uh, deputies from the L.A. County Century Station took the officer in a patrol car to St. Frost, uh, Francis Hospital where he was declared dead. My heart is broken. Our city's heart is broken. And uh, certainly our LAPD family's hearts all grieve. Um, I spoke with his mother, who's an immigrant, um, last night at the hospital, um, stepfather. The officer killed has been identified as 27-year-old Fernando Arroyo, the son of immigrants, three years with LAPD's Olympic Division. Investigators say they recovered two weapons, the officer's gun and one they believed that one of the suspects used. Now, this neighborhood continues to be sealed off as sheriff's investigators continue to search for evidence. If you have any information, please contact the sheriff's department. Reporting live from Florence Firestone, Ted Chen, NBC4 News. Carolyn, back to you. All right, Ted, thank you. And of course, we we will keep following this story throughout the day as we learn more information about the officer and the investigation. We'll pass it along to you in our newscasts as well as online at NBCLA.com and the NBCLA app. Turning to the pandemic, California has now passed 6 million COVID cases as the highly transmissible Omicron variant continues to spread across the state. In L.A. County, total cases now top 2 million since the start of the pandemic. And here's a closer look at the latest numbers. The L.A. Department of Public Health reported more than 43,000 new cases yesterday. More than 3,400 people are now hospitalized with COVID. That's a number we haven't seen since February of last year. Hundreds of thousands of LA Unified students went back to class this morning and the day off got off to a somewhat glitchy start after some issues with the Daily Pass app. NBC4's Darsha Phillips is in Silmar for us. After a long week of testing hundreds of thousands of staff and students, LAUSD is back in school today, but there were several tens of thousands of students who tested positive for COVID-19 and won't be back in class today. The first day of school for LAUSD students after the winter break. 